This review of Social House is part walkthrough, part mukbang, which means I will be eating on camera. This is my own opinion and I am not compensated in any way. Social House is located in Champions Park in Arlington, Texas, nearby the Dallas Cowboys Stadium, as you could see there in the distance at the start of the video. Here's a quick look around so you can see the atmosphere, polished concrete floors, wood accents, fairy lights, very cushy and comfortable and stylish leather booths, uh, leather chairs at the booths. If you need to charge your devices, there are outlets underneath the booths and also underneath the bar. There are regular uh, plugs as well as USB plugs alongside the hooks that are there for your purse or jacket. Here is a quick rundown of the menu. I decided on the Irish pork nachos. Feel free to pause the video at any time so that you could look at something in more detail. On the flip side of this menu is the cocktail drinks and drafts. I did not order an alcoholic beverage at this particular visit. While I'm waiting for my food, I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough so you can see the atmosphere of the social house. There's the state of Texas there with the star. We've got brick walls. We've got wood panels on the walls, wood panels on the floor. Not really sure what these containers were, but I thought they were interesting. Probably for um, beer. And here's something cool. AstroTurf. AstroTurf on the walls. Very cool. Here's the other side of the restaurant with more booth seating and plenty of mounted flat screen TVs for your uh, viewing enjoyment. On the outside of the window here is the view of the rest of the plaza of Champions Park. My visit was during Christmas time and so that's why they had the Christmas tree up. Here are my Irish nachos, my Irish brisket nachos the home style potato chips are piled high topped with marinated beef brisket diced tomatoes sour cream and guacamole sauce i must note there is no cheese on these nachos they do not come with cheese so if you need to go back and pause and look at the menu it will show on the menu ingredients which i did not read at the time but there is no cheese, no cheese sauce, and no shredded cheese. Here's a close-up of the homestyle chip that they make there in-house with the sour cream. Here is a close-up of the homemade guacamole sauce. And it was sauce. It wasn't full, chunky style guacamole. It was just a sauce. And here is a... I was going to say close-up, but it's not a close-up. At some point, I will show you a close-up. Yeah, that's my opinion of the nachos. I've had Irish nachos before where they are either potato wedges or potato skins. I was not expecting the potato the chips. Skin, the potato chips are plain. And these are home style, in-house made, um, well-cooked potato the chips with light salt. The meat. Yeah, I think most of the flavor comes from the meat. The Close up right of the there. brisket with a little bit of sour cream. And although this was piled high, dry. it was dry. It was piled high, so it was a large amount of food, but I only ate about half of it. And about halfway through, I just started to pick out the meat, which is what I'm doing here. I'm just going through 
and picking out the meat. I was not going to continue eating the rest of those potato chips. And coming up is my opinion of my experience at the social house. Uh, so this is my review of the social house in Champions Park, which is located in Arlington, not very far from the Cowboy Stadium, which I showed at the top of the video. I did order the Irish nachos, and uh, I've had Irish nachos before, never potato chip style. So that threw me off and disappointed me. Uh, from the get-go, but it was piled up pretty high, so they do give you a substantial amount of chips on the plate. And my second disappointment with that was that there was no cheese. To me, nachos means cheese. Nachos means cheese. And with other Irish nachos that I've had, it, it has been like us, blah, blah, blah. With other I Irish nachos that I've had in the past, it was potato skins. Potato skins or, you know, potato wedges covered in cheese, melted cheese, and then whatever specialty that the restaurant had for their toppings. So the ingredients that I saw on this were the pulled pork, which was flavorful, the drizzle of sour cream, which was pretty rich, the uh, drizzle of guacamole, which I feel like it, it was either, maybe it was homemade guacamole, but it seemed like a guacamole type sauce, and then uh, diced tomatoes. So those were pretty much the four ingredients uh, other than the salts. I believe those might have been homemade potato chips, only because they came out kind of burnt looking. They were not burnt. They came out looking kind of burnt, like well done, and they were very thin and fresh tasting, but overall... I probably won't order something like that again. If and when I come back to Social House, I'll probably order something other than the nachos because my expectations were not met, especially without having cheese. But I think with it being potato chips, um, because they're thin, thin chips, too much of any kind of sauce would have made it all soggy. And so I think they did have to go light on the toppings for that reason. But I'm still, still disappointed. Um, I'm probably going to get something else to eat in a little while only because I'm full right now. It's not so much that I'm full, but I got tired of eating chips. Like, the saltiness of the chips. There was a lot of salt on there. Chip, 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 chip. The waitress did bring me out some more sauce and uh, drizzle because I felt like by the time I got halfway through it, it was so dry that I needed more. Um, but there was no sauce. There was no nacho sauce. There was no salsa. And so it, I, I used a little bit more of the guacamole, but it didn't cut it. But the atmosphere is very nice, very posh. This still very clean, very nice, very modern, has a kind of slightly industrial look on the outside, but on the inside, you got the warmth of the wood floors, the uh, textured grass, uh, astral turf on the side there, and the leather seats. If you saw me squeezing on the leather seats, those were really nice. So it was a comfortable environment. I can see why they call it the social house. I would definitely enjoy having uh, friends to meet up here and just enjoy and have a nice atmosphere. They did have the music on, which was not too loud. I appreciated that. I don't like it when my ears are being blasted with the music. And of course, they had the various screens going on with the sports and music videos and whatnot there is outdoor eating it's december 2nd right now so even though the weather is pretty decent here in texas i don't think they have it set up for outside right now but i have seen people eat out there in the summertime what else can i say the staff was friendly there's a host when you go in the door there's the bartenders there that uh, help you out and then the wait staff as i was going around taking some footage to show you guys there were some ladies that was asking me what I was doing, and I told them this was for a video, YouTube video, and they gave they gave me rave reviews on the different dishes that they enjoyed, and that the staff was great. And so, word of mouth is always a great thing to for self promotion of a of, of a business. And so, even though I was disappointed with my Irish chips nachos, I'll be back. I'll be back. I just won't get that dish anymore. I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments and leave them in the comment section below and check out my other food and restaurant reviews uh, of the Dallas Fort Worth area. This is in Arlington, Texas, located off of. I-30 and Collins. All right, see you in the next video.